this time of year, we're usually out here at Mount Stewart, getting ready for two weeks of den building. But even though we can't be out here, don't think we should miss out on all the fun. <laughs> we'll be releasing one den space video a week for the next five weeks. These will have some helpful hints about den building, as well as some fun activities and challenges for you to try at home. Welcome to Achievement Buttes Den Stage! Hi, I'm Molly. I'm the project leader for the Den Stage project at Achievement Butte. Den's Week is my favourite week of the year, so I'm glad that we get to bring all the fun of Den's to you at home. This summer, we're challenging you to do our 50 in 5 challenge. Our Den's team will be giving you 10 tasks a week to complete for the next 5 weeks. Hi, my name is Zoe and this is the second year I'm volunteering at Dens Week. I really, really enjoyed it last year and can't wait to see what this year brings. I'm good at finding little decorations to decorate our den with to make it the best one out there. Hi, I'm Erin and my den building skill is that I can make good decorations. Hi, I'm Alex. I've been doing Dens Week for three years as my first and my den advantage is probably interior design because I'm hopeless at the week building them. Hi, my name's Elena. I'm a volunteer for Achievement Butte. I do Dens Week just about every year. I always really enjoy it. Um, I'm good at finding the big massive sticks for the frame of the den and I love being on the rope swings. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm a volunteer at Achievement Butte and I love making rope swings like this at Dens Week. Hi, my name's Ralph. Hi, my name's Ronnie. My advantage for den building is I can reach the top of the den because I'm tall. My name is Ian. My strength for den building is that I'm very strong. Hi, my name is Annabelle. I'm a volunteer for Achievement Butte, and my special activity skill is arts and crafts. Hi, I'm Leila, and I am a support team leader at Achievement Butte. And honestly, I don't know if I have any den strengths other than surviving multiple den weeks. Before we get started on the, on, the, on the challenges, we have some important health and safety organisation to do. Every year at DENS, we always come up with our DEN commandments to follow for the week. This year they are a bit different. Always ask for permission before you start. So whilst you're out doing any task, whether that's DENS or arts and crafts or whatever, uh, make sure you follow the guidelines of social distancing. Ask an adult if you are unsure. So make sure when you are building your dens or doing your arts and crafts, make sure you take lots of photos and videos for us and send them in to Achievement Butte. Be happy! And don't bite the trees. This summer we're challenging you to complete 50 tasks in 5 weeks. We'll be releasing 10 tasks a week for you to try and complete at home. Your first task is to build a den, so you can either do one indoors like this one, or you can make it outside. This is a den that our volunteers Elena and Ronnie built in the woods near their house. Don't worry, yours doesn't have to be as complicated as this one. So if you're building a den outside, you want somewhere that you can stabilise a stick into your tree, high enough from the ground so people can fit into it if you want it that big. And then if you're doing a teepee style, you need a stick that's going to split so that you can balance something else into it right across from it. First you want to start balancing other long sturdy sticks up the side of your big middle one and then securing them with string. We just use this and tie it really tightly so it doesn't fall apart. If you're big sticks you want little bristly ones because they cover more space and they're easy to weave your ferns into later. Most of your sticks on you want to start filling it with ferns and other leaves you can find and that's like your way of shelter in this den. So for making your den a stable structure you need to find a really good spot to start off with, especially if you're working outside. The first branch that you put will sort of set the foundations for your den. So you want to make sure it's a really, really thick, 
the strong looking one because that needs to take everything else that you build on top of it. To secure both ends with some strong string or rope if you have some. This side I think is a bit more unstable. Let's take a sort of thicker stick again, ideally with bigger forks than this one, but this is all I could find at the moment. And then you want to press it underneath, and then push it up so that it's sticking into the ground. So then that gives it a wee bit more stability. Um, these two branches, now that they're secure on, will give me a really stable structure to start off with. So I can start building a roof and some walls. If you don't have any trees or many natural materials in your garden, you can make your den from other things. You just have to be creative and of course get permission. Here someone has used a garden lounger and a sledge to make their den. They're also planning to use leaves from a palm tree. Hmm, we'll need to see what they do with this lot next week. To make a den name and password, make sure your team all know the name and agree on it and also to keep any intruders out, make sure it's secret. The next task is to make a den sign. To do that, you could use pa paper, pen, or you could use sticks and leaves. Make sure to include your den name and even if you want to, the people that are in your den. So if you've got two short pieces and you want to make them longer, you use a reef knot to tie them together. Take one piece in your right hand, one piece in your left hand. I'm starting with your right hand, you go over and then you bring that one under and then pull it like that. So that's the first over and under, over with your right and then under. Now you're going to go over with your left hand and then tuck it under and then pull. And there is your reef knot and it's really strong and it won't break. Now, to make it easier, you can also do it with different colours. So here we are, orange and blue. So we're going to go take the orange over and under and out. And then the orange again is going to go over and under and out. And there's your reef knot. See how it looks, makes quite a nice shape. And there is a nice strong knot that won't break. When you're trying to skim stones, you need to go to the beach and then you look for like nice skinny ones that are quite heavy. When you're skimming stones, you can either throw it that way or that way, like a frisbee. Hi guys, I'm on the beach looking for shells with holes in it. I want you to do the same thing. Make sure to save these because you're going to need them for next week. We want to see how much your den grows and changes over the summer. So take a photo of where you're going to build your den before you start building. I plan to build my den back there, but it's a bit wet outside at the moment. So I'm going to hold off doing my before photo. So to do a simple braid, all you need to do is divide whatever you're using, so string, hair, into three even sections and make sure it's secure at the top. You want it to be quite steady while you're doing it, so I have just roughly attached it to my fence. So what you do is you take the right one first and then you 
pass it over into the middle. So taking the one that was in the middle over to the right. And then you take the left one and put that in the middle. And then you just keep going, taking the one from either side into the middle. And you can see it slowly becomes a braid. So it's just bringing one from the side into the middle, and then from the other side into the middle. So to secure it, you can either tie it with a piece of string or you can just tie it in a knot at the bottom. If you want to learn how to do a more complex braid, Anna is going to show you in the next video. Hi, I'm going to teach you how to do the four strand braid. So the first thing you need to do is get whatever material you're using and split it into four strands like I've done here. Next, you're going to get the one that is most at the right and put it over the one next to it and under the one next to that. Your next step is to get the one most to the left and put it under the one next to it and over the one next to that. So to repeat, take the right and put it over and under, take the left and put it under then over. All you really have to do is remember over, under, under, over. Hi, my name's Ralph and today I'm going to show you how to build a simple raft. Accept the challenge, send some photos or videos in of you completing the tasks to the Achievement Butte WhatsApp. There's no deadline to complete the tasks by, but we do want to keep track of how many you manage to do. We also have some free dense packs available with some equipment and materials that will help you complete some of the tasks. So let us know if you would like one of them. Happy den building!